Assalamu alaikum. It's good to be back once again in the Jalsa. Your Holiness, the Supreme Leader of the Worldwide Ahmadiyya Muslim Jamaat, Hazrat Mizra Masrur Ahmed, the fifth Khalifa of the Jamaat, vulnerable religious leaders, invited guests, brothers and sisters in the Islamic Ummah, as well as those of our brothers and sisters from other religious denominations gathered here, distinguished ladies and gentlemen. I convey to you warm fraternal greetings from His Excellency, the President of the Gambia, Adam Abaro, the government and people of the Republic of the Gambia. Your Holiness, I have to say that the theme of your this year's convention underpins the undiluted position of the economic community of West African states, ECOWAS, and the African Union to use the persuasive power of religion not as an instrument to divide people, but as a progressive opportunistic tool to effectively promote social cohesion and harmony, accelerate human development endeavors, and provoke inner self conviction premised on devotion, modesty, and commitment to the general good. Put it mildly, religion should be a unifier and not a destroyer of hope and human dignity. As a Muslim, and also Islam being the fastest growing religion in the world, it behoves on us Muslims to exhibit genuine stewardship and embrace strong pragmatic initiatives that serve as disincentives to misguided and extremist groups using Islam to spread hate and fear. It is our responsibility to dispel this unfortunate widespread notion that confuses and linking Islam with violence. It is time now that we use our collective strength to conquer fear about our religion, to confront all forms of extremism, real or perceived, to inspire and to assure hope, to recommit ourselves to the true values of tolerance and love, uphold the dignity and inviolability of life, cherish peaceful coexistence, and initiate mechanisms that are so lasting peace and progress. Your Holiness, distinguished ladies and gentlemen, I want to assure you of the unflinching commitment of the government of the Gambia to the noble principles of religious tolerance and world peace. My country, the Gambia, has a long cherished history of religious tolerance. Perhaps one of the most important contributing factors of the religious tolerance in my country is the culture of interfaith marriage among different faith groups in my country. But most importantly, the right to religious belief and belonging is a deeply entrenched clause in our constitution. Government would continue to provide the necessary enabling environment without hindrance or let for the citizenry to practice their religious beliefs freely. The Gambia government will also continue to commit itself to the secularity of the state as enshrined in our, in our Constitution. Our country has just rolled out its four-year National Development Plan, which aims to harness the collective effort of all Gambians to collectively participate in the development process. We recognize from the onset that our country, the Gambia, will not develop when some of its citizens are discriminated against because of their religious belief. In his uh, Friday summons, on the first day of uh, this year's Jalsa, Hazrat Amirul Muminin Khalifatul Misa the fifth admonished Muslims to choose the power of divinity through prayers of a violence and to serve humanity with grace and wisdom. These are powerful, pragmatic admonishments that challenge our collective consciences to uphold all what it takes to remain tolerant and to be devoted to the true teachings of Islam to endanger world peace and stability. I want to assure you, Your Holiness, that your, this advice will constitute a critical distinct embodiment of our country's governance process. Before I conclude, Your Holiness, distinguished ladies and gentlemen, let me take this opportunity to thank the Emir of the Ahmadiyya Muslim Jamaat in the Gambia and the entire membership for their continuous service to our nation. From spirituality to healthcare, 
agriculture to education, the Ahmadiyya Muslim Jamaat stand tall in its immeasurable contributions to the development of our country. I am one such direct beneficiary of the numerous development contributions by the Ahmadiyya Jamaat, having attended Nusrat High School, one of the leading high schools run by the Jamaat in the Gambia. The Jamaat has also just recently funded critical facelift of the Gambia Radio and Television Services, GRTS, our national broadcaster, that now boasts of state-of-the-art new studios of international standard. Part of the facelift of the GRTS studios was the provision of cutting-edge technologies to the national broadcaster. I am made to understand that more such support for the national broadcaster is in the pipeline. We acknowledge the personal endorsement by the Khalifa for the successful implementation of these uh, upcoming projects. On behalf of the board and management of GRTS, I thank you, Your Holiness, for that wonderful gesture. A few months ago, my ministry, the Ministry of Information and Communication Infrastructure, approved a content distribution license to the Ahmadiyya Muslim Television Network to start operations in the Gambia. Your Holiness, we look forward to engaging programming from the MTA in the Gambia. Let me seize this opportunity once again, Your Holiness, on behalf of the government of the Gambia, to thank you profoundly and through you, the entire membership of the worldwide Ahmadiyya Muslim Jamaat, for your untiring efforts and support in the Gambia. I thank you. Assalamu alaikum.